Am I doing the fork or the pork? No, you're the pork, definitely. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got the fork right here. The lower fork. Uh -huh. Hi, welcome to Cooking Sheep. I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson, and we're so glad to see you again. This is the last of Doris's florets oh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the fall season when right. this show is taped. They've been uh, frosted otherwise. And is this a Strasburg crock? Anybody know? So I come from up Strasburg area. They're known for the uh, Crocs. Of course, uh, I'm also known as a Croc myself. Right. But, uh, uh, and, and when I'm not, Matter of fact, the other night when I saw you, you were a Croc. <laughs> ah, right. Wait a minute. Right. No, wait a minute. Now let's get to the mail Never here. Never touches my lips, that stuff. All right, go ahead. This, this person, Mrs. Wayne Hinchy of Clinton, Arkansas, has written in and said uh, that she's uh, enclosed, she sent some envelopes and she'd like uh, some more of our recipes and mm. she lists the ones that she's got. She's got Laban's winter salad, Larry's chicken with walnut sauce, Laban's liver and noodles, Larry's eggs and zucchini, Laban's recipe and Larry's recipe. But she doesn't say which one she wanted. <laughs> Dear Laban and Larry, where's this letter from? It's from Kingsport, Tennessee. Dear Larry and you know, Larry, I adore your show. It's the greatest, but it's not nearly as enjoyable with guest chefs. Please don't do that anymore. Blech. It says, I look forward to your new season. I hope you'll get reruns in our area. Your dishwasher's names are really clever. Dave, if you're watching yep. on the other end of the camera, are either of you married? Well, we get a lot of people wanting to know this question, and I'm going to tell you, we have never answered it on the air, but I'm going to answer it today. And, and when I answer it, you will know why we have never told you this before. I am actually married to Laban's second wife. Now, that's how we got to be friends, and I couldn't stand this woman anymore, I, and so and I want you know, I can't stand her now. That's and why like we don't to see each other very often away well, wait from a minute. the studio. Phoebe Byington, what a great <laughs> name, great show business uh, name. Now the lovely Phoebe Byington right. from Kingsport, Tennessee. She's uh, and she sent us lips. There's uh, actually I think Phoebe's they were actual kisses. Kisses. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm, and then uh, Jay Ballantyne from Punta Gorda, Florida. From who? Punta Gorda. Punta Florida. Gorda? Right, like Punta Quinte. No, anyway, Punta I enjoy Gorda. your program and the recipes you make are very interesting and not time consuming. I hate long drawn out recipes with wines and whatever, spices and herbs and all kinds. Your recipes sort of are like simple and easy as they look on the program. Yeah. I'm not much of a cook. Uh. <laughs> hey, well, Jay, that's, hey, that's all right. And just because I'm doing the first recipe we We've done in about a year today with wine. <laughs> uh, that's I'm sorry. True. We've had a lot of complaints uh, that we haven't done any wine recipes this yeah. year, but mostly we've had complaints we haven't had done nearly <laughs> enough wine. <laughs> Dear Laban and Lair, this person feels very, very comfortable with, with me, you. obviously. Yeah. Lair from all the way in Blacksburg, Virginia. My heavens. <laughs> Please send me the recipe for molasses drop cookies. Those were good. Yeah. Those are uh, real good. By the way, have you ever tried putting an apple wedge in a covered container of cookies to soften them? That that does work. It sort of yeah. gives it uh, another kind of flavor that might not be felicitous. <laughs> Maybe it would work with these, which you said harden at a, uh, in one day's time. Well, that's very interesting. But I think we found out what caused yeah. them to do that. Too much flour. Uh, yeah, yeah, and cement. I enjoy your show. Any chance of the Cook Sisters returning? And how about some vegetarian entrees? I hope yes to both of those eventually. Sherry Reynolds of Blacksburg, Virginia. Right. Thank you very much. We appreciate and your letter. I think we ought to go cook. I'm ready. Oh, okay. I'm also a little bit hungry. Who could who could argue with oh, that? Oh, I don't know, but somebody would around here. <laughs> I'm oh. sure someone would find a reason. They would, they would, I guarantee you. I'm doing a sausage scramble. Oh. But I'm not going to do anything just yet because no. Mr. Johnson's got a, a big recipe. It needs to start right yeah. now. Well, I'm doing pork tenderloin, and I've got two of the tenderloins right here. And maybe we ought to get Carol, Miss Carol, to, to run up our little special piece right now so we can show you where the, the tenderloin comes from off of the pork. Oh, really? Uh -huh. You're going to actually show us a real yes. porker? Is that yeah. what you're telling well, us? Well, no. I mean, we, wanna, we want people to see where this piece of uh, delicious piece of meat comes from. Okay, so here we go. Live on remote, ladies and gentlemen, and there he is, Snootso McGillicuddy.
Yes. And uh, some of your people, Johnson? No, I was going to ask you the same uh -huh, thing. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, well, it looks like he's rooting around yeah. there. You reckon he's looking for, uh, maybe for, oh, whoa. For a hidden whoa. treasure. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. That hey. is, that's what you call a pigtail. Uh-huh. Now, uh, you're going to tell us where this is. Where, oh, where? this is down at Booker's Place. No, 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 no. Where this meat came from. Oh. Dumb, well, dumb. It, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's. Oh, there it is. It comes it is. from right on the right side there. No, no, no. wait no, a minute. That's no, you. It's on the left. Oh, okay. All right. No, it comes. Oh, you're uh, yeah, showing see, me here. Yeah, it comes, the tenderloin comes comes right off the back, oh, right I along see. the back. And you bone. can see I'm prepared here to put this yeah. pig in its place. Uh, to barbecue the pig. No, wait a minute, maybe I'm not ready. It's well, kind you of look a real big good with that pig. apple. Well, thank you. I, I, it's actually a coat. Oh, oh yeah, I am. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I do have an apple. And you're saying, and there the, it is. Go yes, get it, Lair. There it is. And of course, I take a look at those choppers and I say, what do I say? I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> well, that it's a good thing there's no audio on that yeah. part. Oh, yeah. And yeah, don't, yeah. don't buy a pig in a poke. Don't right. buy a pig in a poke or don't poke a pig. Right. Uh, oh, period. Please. I don't know what any of it means All right. whatsoever. I still oh, don't know where this, this comes from. Well, this, uh, is the, the, back. The, the, this is the tenderloin. The here, back. let me show. Oh, right here. Heavens. It comes from this. right along here is the tenderloin. Right here. Yeah. And uh, it is a very lean piece of pork. No, it's not. Yes, it it's is. It's pretty oh, fat sure. on oh. me. Fat, fat the water rat. No, you're not, not too, well, just wait a minute, is this fat? There it is. Oh, thank heavens for that. Well, I had to make sure. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some seasoned flour, and which is flour, salt, and pepper, and you can do it in any amount that your little baby hearts desire, and you just put it right over here in the plate. Is that, uh, what kind of flour? Just old ordinary? Just plain flour. Plain flour. It's not even unbleached, which is what I usually use, but just that. And I've got maybe a cup of flour and a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add some pepper to it. Of course, this would be better with freshly ground pepper at home, but that's all you need. And I'm going to saute these old pieces of tenderloin over here in two tablespoons of margarine in just a minute. So. Uh, that's all I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start sauteing, Larry, while you uh, start Sauteing, your Larry? Yes. Oh, no. I'll never stand for that. Oh, I don't know. I think you will. Ooh, this onion does not <coughs> smell good at Ooh. all. Oh, Ooh. no. Excuse me, that ladies and gentlemen. That onion doesn't favor nobody. Boy, I want to tell you, that was rasty. That was bad. <laughs> what we're going to start doing here on this little thing is we'll chop up some onion. Well, first of all, we'll put a little heat on. That would be nice. Yeah, put the click, heat on. Click, click, poof. All right, here we go. Put a little heat on, and we're going to take a pound of ordinary whole hog sausage. The whole hog. All right, and I'm just going to open it up because what we're going to do is we're going to cook it now. We're going to fry it on top of the stove. <coughs> and we need to kind of chop it up a little bit as we go along here. And I'll do that in a second. I need a... Uh, what you call it? A spatula. spatula. Thank you very much. My mind went totally off the deep end of the Richter scale. Thank you very much. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take that. Oh, we shouldn't be using this with this fine Teflon coated thing. Someone will give me. You just the, use your wooden spoon. It'll do. <laughs> Thank you. I I get letters every time I do that. And of course, if I stick my knife in there, everyone will complain. Oh, about they go it. crazy. They just go wild. Well, I believe that sausage had been froze. Well, I believe it had too. I just bought it fresh yesterday. Well, no, I bought it today, as a matter of well, fact. Did you put it in your freezer? It was one of those low down stores. Oh. Yeah, well, that's all right. The Doris, it's okay. I got it. It's fine. Now we're going to fry that. And while you're starting to fry your bacon, your bacon. Your <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's all pork to him. <laughs> I know, pork is pork is pork. And no one can talk to a pork, of course. Okay, uh, we're going to chop up some onions because we're going to fry those along with the sausage. About a, a half a cup of chopped onions. And that's what I'm going to do right now, and that's all I'm going to do right now. Looks like we're both into a dull oh, section. No, not at all. I'm, I've got these little tenderloins in here just going to town. Well, they are right pretty, and they mm -hmm. are right little. Well, that's... I'm just going to chop some onions. The nature of your common tenderloin. Uh-huh. Back to Mr. Johnson. Well, I'm chop... These are about a quarter of an inch thick. You could do them a little thicker if you wanted to. But I didn't want to, so I'm not doing it. 
Well, it's good that you have and the this freedom a, here in America to oh, have sure, that, that kind you of can a lousy do that. attitude. Mm -hmm. And these little tenderloins are just going right in here and cooking in this margarine. You reckon that's a half a cup? Oh yeah, great. Greatest more plenty. than it. More than enough. Greatest plenty. I'm gonna put a half a cup of onions in there now, ladies and gentlemen. Just rough chop them, put them in there, and that's all I get to do for a while. Well, for that's goodness. It. It's pretty simple thus far, uh -huh. isn't it? Now these now the tenderloin of the pork will cook very quickly because it is tender. So uh, this is not one of those things that you need to cook for about an hour and a half. Don't make that terrible mistake. Just cook them until they begin to get nice and brown and crusty on the bottom. Are they a little pink inside when you get finished with them? Oh no, they're, they're going to be cooked all oh, the way be through. Cooked all yeah. well, but if they're pink inside, it doesn't mean they're not cooked, does mm -hmm. it? Now while that's going on, let's see, I got to do something with these extra tenders here. Well, I guess I'll well, just why don't you throw them in the refrigerator them right over here. there. Well, so they don't give nobody. I, you know, we've gotten so poor. I need a paper towel to wipe off my thing with, and we don't have well, one you to our the name. Wrong Let spot me see. For that. <laughs> nah, wait a minute. Here's one right here. There's been here. a big run on paper towels around here lately. The employees have taken to taking them home, chamois in their cars with them, all uh -huh. kinds of things. Well, now you want to make sure that your chopping windows. block is off. Now I'm going to cut up some apples while Ooh, this, this is good. Now this is a, a Granny Smith apple, which is a good apple to use because it's a good cooking apple. Well, did she give it to you or something? No, I you? took it off of her. Oh, okay. And uh, we're going to slice up these apples and put them uh, on this wonderful dish here in a minute. Now, as if you can notice down here in the pan. Uh, you can tell these things I'm are not getting. Not doing anything. I'm just. I can standing here. doing a little routine there. Uh, as these things begin to you see, show the natural juices through the top. Natural can, juices. Natural juices. You can tell that they're ready to be uh, turned over. So let me check and see. By yep. the way, while you're doing all that, well, let me know when you get. To well, I'm just turning these up now. Up. They're beginning to to brown up real good. So Larry, you go ahead. Well, one of our good viewers sent this in to us and I just wanted to show it because I just think it's so darn appropriate. Oh, it, that is just real swell. Now, what do you want me to do, bring it to the camera? I don't understand. There. Sometimes I just don't, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, another camera. Sometimes I forget we have five or six of them in here. Isn't that pretty? It's real uh -huh, cute. It's real, real now, lovely. Well, it's real lovely and it has no it has no use whatsoever. None. I mean, there's just nothing you can do to, you know, except well, maybe clang Johnson over the head. With well, I mean, we could take all. It is that, real decorative, however. That art stuff out of it and use that. Use I don't a think you want pan. to. I believe it have glue on the bottom of it. Oh well, it might taste good. Well, boy, I tell you, this stuff is just frying along and smelling real good. And these onions all of are these, in there? both of these recipes would be good for a brunch, wouldn't they? Oh. How terrible. I just flopped a bunch of stuff off oh, on the table. Oh, no. You've For had a, a brunch? Well, Larry, you've had such a hard time last, you know, with throwing the soup all over us, and now you've... Uh, I've decided to uh, to frisk you things up down here. It's a part of my new part oh. of the show is throwing stuff well, on the Well, it's, sort of, it's kind of like what you do at your own home, right? Mm -hmm, that's true. Because you know, he does, you know... Now, why do you think this would be good for a brunch? Just, it's I mean, just a good old breakfast kind of brunch dish. Oh, I see. Okay. Sausage and all that good stuff. Sure does smell good. Mm -hmm. Now, my little pork uh, tenderloin pieces are coming along real well and just frying up a storm. What we're going to do, we're going to put this fruit on it here in a minute. And today, you could use all kinds of different fruits with this recipe. Uh, but I'm using uh, apples and pineapple today. So here are my apple slices over here, and then here's my pineapple. And Larry, I just think this is the most wonderful in thing in the world here. What? They're now it's like having fresh pineapple yeah. without going to all the trouble. Oh, that no. That is wonderful. Yes, it is. And so is all that juice all over your shoe. <laughs> Oh no! You That's can't. right, wonderful too. I don't think I want to follow him around, ladies and gentlemen. The flies will be uh, hitting I up on him later on. I can't believe this. Well, that's kind of neat. Where'd you get that? That's at the store. store. Uh huh. 
you reckon Halaloki oh, got started this Lord way? Lord have mercy. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to do this. I have pre-boiled some taters, ordinary old ugly potatoes, ugly potatoes. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the little outsides of them off here, and I'm going to chop them and put them into to this, and we're going to fry it with potatoes in there. And then I'm going to add one and a half cups of undiluted carnation milk. And it specifies carnation, so I got that. But I would imagine about any kind of evaporated milk would be fine, as long as it's not skimmed or something like that. So anyway, I, I'm just taking off the. Looks to me like some what? somehow my oven didn't my burner didn't get. No wonder it wasn't browning right. Anyway, you need to add a half a cup of sweet wine. I'm using Marsala. I told you never to use her again. Well, what can I do? Poor right. Marsala. All right, now that goes in there Ooh, like that. That's going to be a wonderful recipe. Mm -hmm. You know we Ooh. don't cook nearly as much with oh, wine that, on this show as we used to. That heady aroma. I remember the times we used to use a lot of, well, I vaguely remember the times we used to use a lot of wine on this now, show. Now I'm going to be putting my pineapple slices. Oh, isn't that lovely? On the top of this. Isn't that lovely? It really is, I'll have to say. I'm continuing on just, um, well, I have potatoes here, which I, I, I boiled yesterday, and I'm just chopping them into little chops now, I'm just chopping them up. You know, what I'll need is about two cups of diced potatoes. And, and so I'm dicing them right now. And I'm putting my apple slices in here now. This is even a pretty dish to have in your kitchen. And I'm like Madeline, what's her name? You know, Madeline Cooks, the French lady mm -hmm. who says she has asbestos fingers. Mm -hmm. Now I'm putting those potatoes in there to fry along with, I was supposed to drain a little bit of the, but this is a, this really does not have an awful lot of fat in it, so I'm not going to drain any of it. Says take some, drain it, and reserve it just a little bit. Honest to goodness, it's been going so long, there's nothing left to drain. So I'm going to go ahead and put those potatoes in there. I'm going to continue adding to it. And in a couple of minutes, just before we serve it, we will add some undiluted milk and cook undiluted it Undiluted gall. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we'd like, well, isn't that lovely? Yes, it is. I think it is pretty as your proverbial picture. Maybe and we I guess show people the, how to do this stuff. I don't, a proverbial picture. Yes. What that well, you know, pretty as a picture. Mm -hmm. And that is just lovely. Mm. Look at it. They're in the pan. Oh, that piece fell over. Get on it. There you go. Well, let's now look and see good. how these recipes were made and what goes into them. It's coming up in just well, a Well, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, I think we'll probably get the, you know, uh, I, what is the I recipe? don't know whether I can remember it, to be honest oh, with well, you. Anyway, if I remember it, it it'll come up on the screen. And if I can't remember it, it won't. Oh, All right, yeah, there it is. Yeah, now oh, I remember. You, well, they were coming. But we yeah. surprised them, shocked them. They weren't ready. Pork tenderloin with fruit. Speaking you need a pork tenderloin, two apples or one apple is all I used, a pineapple or some canned slices, seasoned flour, two tablespoons of margarine, and a half a cup of some kind of sweet wine. Short and Larry. sweet. These are simple ones to make, they really are. The sausage scramble. Oh, I didn't say it was sent in by Ethel Harton from Hillsville, Virginia, the home of the, probably one of the very biggest flea markets in the world because a whole town becomes one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one pound of pork sausage, a half cup of chopped onions, one and a half cups of undiluted carnation milk, which we're going to add in just a couple of seconds. And you just cook it all on top of the stove. And you'll do each one about five minutes, all right? You, uh, Woo! Oh, good heavens, going to put my... thing uh, was spitting at us. It was spitting at us. But then so is the staff. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter too much. And we discussed this before we went on there, but it, or did you, had you told me about our theory about why it thickens up? We were wondering, I was asking Mr. Johnson how this is going to thicken. It says when you add your milk, you keep it in there until it thickens. And I was worried that there is no thickening agent in this recipe. But we both kind of seem to agree that what's going to happen here is that the starch from the potatoes is going to cause it. Theoretically, Theoretically, hopefully, we'll to see. thicken, and we will indeed see that very shortly. Now, all your potatoes are supposed to cook on top of the stove for five minutes, and then we're going to add one and a half cups of undiluted carnation milk. 
we'll do that. We'll give that just a couple of seconds to go there yet before we add that on. Under a pretty high heat at this point, just before we serve. Whoops. Now, also at this point, uh, my recipe is cooking and this fruit is steaming on top of here and releasing, giving up some of its juice into it. So it would appear to me that this is going to be the, uh, the salvation of this recipe and let's hope it doesn't mess up. Well, I've just it added the, pretty good. I've just added the carnation milk to this. And we'll see if it And thickens. look at that, it does, mm. of course it's pretty thick to begin with and I'm rolling it pretty fast. You'll notice that I am boiling at this point, all right? And we'll see. I'm just going to leave it alone for a little bit and see what happens to it. Well, while worst. we're doing that, let's see if uh, the lovely Miss Witch, who has uh, had some rude things to say about us lately because she uh, has not been... Took a bad spell. Oh! <laughs> oh, she dropped her oh, message. Where did it go? I think it went in my gravy. <laughs> oh, no, oh, here no. it is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is she? <laughs> it's here somewhere. Get her out of here. This stuff is not thickening. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it will in time. I'm going to leave it alone. Dear right. boys, yeah. one potato, two potato, three potato cook. We want a recipe not in your book. And that's from Bill and Mary Rhyme of Toonsville, Pennsylvania. Toonsville. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, is, what does that Mrs. mean? I think they want us to do some potato recipes probably. Oh, all right. You know, I mean, potatoes are potatoes, I mean, but... Maybe we can come up with some unique way to Something use them. Something to set this hot. Oh, it's all here. I'm about to faint over dead. Oh. Everything I need is actually here. Oh, well, I man. hope this is going. What'd you do with that s spatula? Here it is. I threw it in the thing. Well, ladies oh, it's and got gentlemen, raw sausage all over. This it. stuff is just as thin as it was a while ago. It doesn't look like it's thickening to me, but maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. You got to bake. You got to cook yeah, it down Doris, a little bit. So it needs a little more time is what's happening. Right. Well, now, I think Do this Do you think mess, that's thickening? Is that thickening? Yes, it is. It, yes, is. it is. It is. It is thickening. Five minutes is a long time. Well, yeah. Oh, and three is even less than that. And let me put my trivet over here. Well, it is. It's starting to sort of get like gravy. A little bit of uh, sort of its uh, own juices starting to thicken up pretty good there, as you can see. Well, these people do know what they're doing. I, I'll tell you what, Ethel. You got it, baby. And this stuff is just really, it's just ooh, sitting there. I hope it doesn't burn. Are you going to be able to get it out of there? <laughs> I believe it's already burned. Oh, no. <laughs> it won't budge out of the pan. No, 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 no. Oh, no. don't tell me. I know it burn. It didn't burn. It didn't burn. Doris, get me a plate quick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, caught just in the nickel of time. Oh, Lord. This could have been one of those days on the old cook and cheap set. Well, well, let's see if we can follow it around the kitchen now. <laughs> hey, look, some dork, I know, I, whoo, has put the griddle on upside down. Well, no, that's how you keep it oh. when you're not using it so it doesn't get dirty. <laughs> ah, wise guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go on over to the old stove well, go right ahead. I'm afraid my eyes are going to get put out by all this moving around with this pan. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, before. of course you have. We see it every day on the Cook and Cheap set. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it really did turn into sort of a little gravy. It, it's real pretty, real lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean Ran to run you into right the wall. Into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Worthless dog. <laughs> Oh, I believe we're bigger than we used to be. <laughs> In fact, I know we are. Well, I know our ratings were up considerably. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> huh? Oh, subtle. Oh, they're subtle. All right, well, let's they, see here what we got. They're looking up to the ceiling and pointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try your little mess here. All right, now I'll try uh, this stuff. Boy, I tell you what, it does look like it was just, ladies and gentlemen, on this side of being burned. But it wasn't. But it wasn't, that's for sure. I want to try it with a little pineapple and a little piece of apple. I want to get all that put together. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Larry, yours is, is real good. Oh, that that's is marvelous. tasty. And that's so easy. So is yours. That is marvelous. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two pork dishes here that are fabulous. 
either one of these would be delicious mm. on New Year's morning. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, they're telling us we got to go. That is true. I just it think it's terrible. Really well, look at all those little signs. Well, if I wasn't sure, I swear they said something rude to us in sign language. Listen, Bye. thanks for coming by and goodbye.